We're following breaking news. We want to head to Rhode Island, where officials there are about to speak on the deadly shooting in Westerly. Let's listen in. On the incident that, uh, an active shooter incident that took place this morning in town. Uh, it started out, we received a call at 1032 um, to the area of Babcock Village, which is on 122 Cross Street in Westerly. It's a um, assisted living residential complex of uh, 151 apartment units. So we received a call of a shooting um, of one victim. We received a second call that there was another victim shot. Um, we responded when we got there. Um, we secured the building primarily at first. Um, we did not have a suspect at the time. Uh, we began reviewing video surveillance in the building. We had to get an IT person from here up there to get into their system, um, or the video system in the building. And we began reviewing surveillance. We, with the assistance of uh, the Stonington Police, Hoppington Police, Groton Police, uh, we called the Rhode Island State Police down to assist us. Um, we, uh, we called the attack team down to join our attack team to clear the building initially, not knowing who the suspect was at the time. Uh, as we continued to review video surveillance, we came up with a potential suspect, and we had a uh, joint venture at that point with the Rhode Island State Police with their attack team and ours um, to make an entry into a room with the potential suspect. Um, the people, the victims involved, there's three victims that were shot. Um, one of the victims is 38 years old, one of the victims is 47 years old, and one of the victims is 66 years old, um, the three victims. One of the victims was deceased at the scene. The other two victims were transported by ambulance, Wesley Ambulance, to one to Wesley Hospital and the second to Rhode Island Hospital. Um, the one at Wesley Hospital is in critical condition, is being transported by LifeStar at this point to Yale New Haven Hospital. The one in Rhode Island Hospital is going to be going into surgery. <coughs> Once we determined who the potential suspect was, uh, we had the both TAC teams assemble at the building to make entry into the room. As the chief explained, uh, once it was determined that it was a uh, multiple victims and a possible active shooter, the Round State Police tactical team responded as well and uh, assisted the Wesley Police Department. Both teams formed up and did a joint operation, a joint uh, entry into the apartment where the suspect was located. And once again, the suspect was located through video surveillance at the front office where one of the victims was. The, um, the door was opened, the robot entered, and found the, uh, the suspect uh, well, appeared to have a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The suspect is, we're not releasing any names at this point, the suspect is a 66-year-old male that was a resident of the facility. Uh, the victims that were shot, two of them were workers of the facility, and one of the victims was a resident of the facility out of the victims that were shot. The investigation is ongoing. It's going to be a joint investigation between the Rhode Island State Police and the Wesley Police Department. We are currently at the scene, still processing the scene, um, executing search warrants, and uh, the detectives from both divisions are collecting all um, evidence pertaining to the case. We're in the process of notifying families is the reason why we're not notifying or releasing any of the names at this point. Um, and we will have updates as updates as we can release them.